So, as requested from yesterday's video, we have this tower trick. And we're going to explain how it's done and make it nice and simple. So you must throw a double or nothing, just straight like that. Put your hand through this loop, your throw hand through the loop, turn it over, grab the strings, twist, and then you'll be left with this string here coming from your pinky finger. What we're going to do is flick the yo-yo from the front over onto that string. So double or nothing, hand through the loop, turn over, grab strings, twist. Now this loop here, we want to pop it straight up like that. And when it goes straight up like that, it comes off this finger and it lands onto that string coming off the pinky finger. Sounds complicated, but really it's not that bad when you're looking at it. Hand through, turn over, grab strings, twist. Pop and land on that string. That is you into the tower. To get out, you can just drop with your non-throw hand and then bind as simple as that. In the short video yesterday, we did the same trick with a regen. So we just hand through, turn over and twist all the strings, pop to the tower. Now you don't want to have too much spin for the regen. Drop here and then just, oh, nasty. Having no string tension would help. So as in yesterday's video, we did a version where we did a regen. So we throw the double or nothing, hand through the loop, turn over, grab strings, twist, pop onto that string from the pinky, drop with the non-throw hand, and then just throw a regen, straight back in, same thing again. There you go, that is your tower with a regen. We're going to go for one more variation where we're going to do a Queegee bow and then as Queegee bow gets into the double or nothing, we'll just do the tower trick. So we'll throw the trapeze, cut, turn over, cut back. There you go. And that is Queegee bow finishing with the tower. Nice and easy. So it's very versatile. Uh, practice it. It's, it's great fun and it looks quite impressive. So good luck. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.